<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from Valley of the Fires, New Mexico. It's a Bureau of Ma Land Management campground near Carrizozo, New Mexico, and I like it. I got to go do my laundry today in Capitan, which is 20 miles away, up in the elevations, about 6,700 feet. And so that's what I'm going to do. But having said that, uh, what else? Um, let's see, guys. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. It's the day after yesterday, day before tomorrow. It is right now. So if there's anything you want to be doing, you better be doing it. So uh, for a noon video, I did a video of the back streets of truth or consequences. If I can find it, I'll post that one today at lunch and you can see a little bit more of that little community because I'll be going back there oh in about 10 days or so and around and around we go in my little enchanted circle I've created and then uh, hey Google make us laugh what do you call a bear with no teeth a gummy bear okay uh, let me go back one more page here. Do female frogs croak? If you hold their little heads underwater long enough uh, while visiting China, you might, your tour guide starts, start all over Rusty, okay. While visiting China, your tour guide starts shouting, poo, 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 what does he mean? Cattle crossing, okay. I've already read that. Why did, why did the nurse always carry a red pen? To draw blood. Okay, that's a good one. Anyway, we'll see what this thing's got. Positive energy. That's what it says. I need it. The best way to predict the future is to create it. That'll do it. <laughs> Damn sure it'll do it. Yeah, you create it. It'll work. Anyway, what else we got here, guys? Uh, the temperature. Hey, Google. What's the temperature in Carrizozo, New Mexico? The temperature in Carrizozo right now is 61 degrees. Yeah, it's probably slightly cooler out here. We're a little higher in elevation, and it's out of town. So I, it's probably 59 out here. The high today shows to be 83. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. That's great camping weather. And so uh, what else we got here this morning? Anyway, canoe. K-E-A-N-U, canoe, uh, canoe, I guess, R-007. Well, sir, it's always been said a sneeze is equivalent of an org orgasm, so here you go. LOL. Uh, I'll take an orgasm anytime <laughs> over a sneeze. Oh, I'm just, just being me. Karen V-222, your first video, you have a, I got a bug, a gnat right on my head. There's one gnat in here that's going to die here in a minute. Anyway. Yeah, they, they want to get in your eyes and they want to get in your ears. I don't know why, but anyway, that's the way they do. Uh, anyway, she says, your first video, you have a Jimmy Stewart way about you. Well, he's got he, he's got a way about him like me, maybe, huh? I'm just being me. If I happen to appear like somebody else, that's just the way it is. Anyway, Tracy Phillips on the drive on the windmill stuff. Nice windmill, still valuable today. Nice, neat bumblebees. Cool to see them doing their thing. Does Sparky even have a spare? Yeah, it does. One of those uh, small ones. Uh, nowadays, that is almost an option. Have a great day, Rusty. Uh, yeah, it is. That's true. Uh, anyway, uh, same person, Tracy Phillips, says, Good morning, Rusty. I know what you mean about listening to yourself on videos. My first couple of videos, I thought, who the heck is that talking? But after a, f a few, you get used to it. Great, great driving video. Thank you. Uh, she says her grandchildren are taught in school to sneeze in their arm like that whatever. Uh, Ralph P., the goat, and I enjoyed the ride. Well, here is a good morning kiss from the screaming alien goat with one ear. And somebody sent me another goat that has two ears, but it got lost in the mail, so I guess it's a thing. But anyway, thank you, Ralph P. Uh, says, morning, this is Ralph again, says, morning all, you are correct, I'm rusty. Last week I was camping with mosquitoes no see -ums, flies, and plague by fire ants. But other than that, it was great, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, other than that, you had a good time. Paul S., it's, it's moving day. Whoopee. Definitely time for a change of scenery. 
got tired of looking at the elephant's butt. Elephant, is that, yeah, I hear you. The first time I went to a place south of uh, Alpine or whatever, it's on the way to Big Ben. It's called Studi Butte. I called it Study Butt. Anyway, yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Donnie K on the green chili cheeseburger. That green chili, that green chili burger looked great. I eat to live. My brother lives to eat. He loves the chili burgers at Sonic as well as the big old hot dogs. He loves your channel more than anything. Well, good for you and good for him. Thank you, Donnie K. I appreciate that very, very much. This person's this person's name is AKA Diggs. Turner owns a lot of land on the eastern side of Rockies near Glacier National Park. Yeah, but he's also got a place near uh, uh, Truth or Consequences. Dandy Fi on the road again. Hi, hey, Rusty, has it occurred to you that you might be able to rent out your cabin? I'm not going to rent it. If you choose to build it, build it uh, on Airbnb while you're waiting. No, I wouldn't dare. I, I'm not going to rent anything, man. No, I, I don't want any renters in my house. Thank you, though. Uh, appreciate it. <clears throat> Perhaps the ranger cabin could finance your travels. No, I'm good. No, if I decide to build it, it'll just be there when I'm not there. Thank you, though. Hellcat Granny. Good morning, Speedy. I enjoyed the ride, Rusty. The goat told me the road jolts him. Well, the, the <laughs> tough crap is all I got to say. Here's the screaming alien goat give you another kiss of compliments of Hellcat Granny. <clears throat> good morning. Say, I drove by your lot yesterday evening, and it looks good. <clears throat> Texas lady, thumbs up. Classita, Sparky, and Rusty. Well, thumbs up to you, Texas lady. Bobber guy one. Rusty will be a no bad man until the Department of Public Safety revokes his driver's license or until someone sees buzzards circling. Sounds like a good plan. Travel on, Rusty. Well, we'll see. You know, I'm just taking this one day at a time. You know, I've got some notes and some different... I've got a lot of options, you know what I mean? And, and I'm just living just like you guys are one day at a time, you know what I mean? Just taking up space on the planet until I don't take up space anymore. <clears throat> uh, RV living with the geezer. Fun driving video. Just a tip. If you pour some Coca-Cola on the battery terminals, it eats the corrosion right off. Just think what it does to people's stomachs. Yeah, it's probably true. Uh, but no, I've, I got it off and I've got some of that uh, grease stuff on it. So it's good. Thank you, though. Yeah, that's, that supposedly does work. Dawn M.T. Wild. Hey, Rusty, I really enjoy your videos. Thank you for taking the time to make them. I like how you feel about a lot of them informational subjects. I have the dandy, I have the darndest time leveling my RV with the leveling blocks. By chance, if you get a minute, could you give us a 101 and show us how to level when you're not on a level surface? Uh, well, you know, the way I do my, my motorhome is totally different because, you know, I just kind of, I've got those wheel blocks, you know, but yeah, I, I did a video about leveling the RV. You know, the first thing you want to do First thing you want to do before you unhook your travel trailer is chalk the wheels so that when you unhook it from the tow vehicle, it doesn't roll down a mountain. <clears throat> That's the first thing you want to do is chalk the wheels. Uh, well, actually, before you chalk the wheels, uh, you know, see see how far you off side to side. You know what I mean? You know, get it level side to side, chalk the wheels, then unhook. Okay, then you can raise it up and down easily. Anyway, good luck. This person's name is Glockman. Baking soda, not baking powder. Everybody says that. I don't know. I call it the baking soda powder. Anyways, Clint Price. Rusty, with your mindset, you'll never be old. May every day be a healthy and happy one. I, I don't know, man. I'm just doing me, Clint, but I thank you for the comment. Richard O'Banion. Bannon. Gomer Pyle. That's who I was trying to think of yesterday. Yeah, he was really a good singer. You know, He, he did that crazy little voice he did for the TV series. But he, had, he was a great, he had a great voice for singing. Gene, Gene or John, J-E-A-N Rodriguez. Hi, Rusty. You sure make your driving exciting to get to a destination. It's always nice when you get closer to your spot. Have a good evening, Rusty. Thank you. I appreciate that, Gene. And Cole Cole. I like this trailer, but I have a 2020 Buick Encore. I can only tow a thousand pounds, I do believe. Well, that's on a very lightweight trailer. Yeah, so, yeah, you, you well, I don't know how much that trailer weighed, but it had to weigh 2,500 to 3,000 pounds. So you need a car to comfortably tow that. You need 4,000 pounds towing capacity, I think. 
you know, WM, congratulations on 53,000 subs. I think I started watching you at 28K. Cheers. Yeah, well, you know, it's just been a slow ride. You know, and it, uh, kind of the tortoise and the hare thing, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And that's kind of been me. You know, I didn't, I never did expect to be pew to pie because the only way to get a whole lot of you, you got to appeal to the younger audience, you know, the young people between ages of, say, 12 and 30 in that whole range. <clears throat> I don't get any of them. Uh, anyway, Sanborn S, or a few of them maybe. Great video. I, I do just that also, driving around and finding interesting back roads like that in New Mexico too. Yeah, that was on my way to Spaceport. Next time I go back to uh, Elephant Butte, uh, then I may uh, uh, go all the way around the kind of on the pavement to Spaceport. I don't know if you can visit Spaceport or not. Hey, Google, does Spaceport America have tours? I don't know, but I found these results on search. Uh, it says it's an actively, it's closed to the public, and it's closed to public access. Okay, well, maybe I can just drive by there. <laughs> anyway, uh, Ann Blade says, you be you, Rusty. Ta-da, I do me. Uh, that's why we watch you. Stay safe. Good for you. Thank you. This is Wayman Samang, Beer and Bacon. Gomer P. Goli. Go Golly. And go, holy, that's what he used to say. Texas Rob, that sneeze sounded like the screaming goat. Here comes the goat to give you another kiss. <laughs> screaming alien goat with one ear. Ding. Yeah, anyway, thank you. Uh, he says, he also says, uh, or Texas Rob said, oh, I got that. Wayman Samang again says, good bet on the 120 watt AGM battery. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it says the uh, Amblade says I bought my battery from AAA, great warranty, and they put it in your driveway and cheaper than a parts house. Uh, I might check on that then. Thank you. And Wayman Samang also says beautiful drive to a new park. Nats are some of the worst. Hate them too. Yeah, they're here. They're here at this park too. When the wind's not blowing, if there's not say t eight to ten miles an hour wind, they're all around you. I'm E88. Uh, good Sunday morning, Rusty. What a gorgeous landscape you're sharing with us. Uh, guaranteed. Uh, that, that word remind me of this guy, Justin Wilson, back in the 90s on PBS, but in YouTube now. He cooks some Southern Cajun cooking along with some good old wine and story to tell. Check him out. Thank you, I'm E8. I'll probably do this. Do that. Shift into high. I like the way you roll. Great looking at the New Mexico sky and New Mexico real estate. Waiting on Ida to hit here instead of a cabin just to get a new RV every three or four years. I like the way you remodel. Yep, the ragweed is a thing. Yeah, it is. Anyway, uh, yeah. Those of you that are in the path of I Hurricane or Ida, well, good luck to you all along the Southern Gulf Coast of the USA. Looks like they're getting it yesterday and today. Uh, Slow Mo 53. I love the ride in this drive along. Gooley was Gomer Pyle, AK, also known as Jim Neighbors. Also, Sergeant Carter was Frank Sutton. Love those golden oldies. Yeah, they were pretty simple stuff, but you know, uh, what, they, what TV found out was they found out who their audience was. And so they started directing their programming to the intelligence of their audience. And that's where you got all of those programs, that, the, all, that whole series. You know, they, and they still do that today for any program. If you wonder why some of them appear to be a little stupid, uh, well, there's, that's one of the reasons, because they, they've got to appeal to a very large audience to get advertisers to put their product there, you see. Anyway, Wolf is the person's name. I really like the fact that you don't edit your videos, Rusty, if it feels like we're right there with you instead of some fancy production and background music, which drives me nuts. Yeah, it bothers me too, because sometimes, you know, I always wonder about YouTubers that do that because they got to know that some of their audience is not going to like their music. You know, just the way, that's just the way it is. That's the way people are. But anyway, thanks. Anyway, Paul Byron the second. Hey, you know, hey, you knows, knew, I Hey, you knows, knew I should have made a left at Albuquerque, Bugs Bunny, Pismo, Paul. Thank you very much. And then we got a few more here. 
Now we got Richard Parker. He says, sorry, what does 78609 mean? And Debbie M says, it's this, it's this, uh, Rusty, seven, Richard, the 78609 is his King's, his mailing address in Kingsland, Texas. Actually, what it is, uh, it, when I started the channel, I had to have a name. <clears throat> and the only, and I was getting my mail at a little community mailbox called Buckhannon Dam in Texas. And the zip code there was 78609. And that's where that came from. My mailing address zip code in Kingsland, Texas is, it's P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639. So that's kind of confusing, but that's the way it is. Cynthia Pelouche, Gomer Pyle. Oh, Gomer. Yeah, the C. Stone says that was Gomer Pyle. It's amazing how many people remember that. Uber Girl Barbara, if you want to drink more, a home base might be a safer bet. Just saying, Barb. Well, I don't go driving when I'm drinking. <clears throat> Lisa Shippert. Better not talk behind the goat's back since his ear is there. <laughs> That's right. His ear is on his back. Give him another kiss, stinking alien goat. Yeah. Anyway, Uber girl Barbara says, uh, eyes on the road. Rusty, you are veering a bit. Da, 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 da. You are easily distracted. Da, 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 da. Thank you for your input. Ellen Dowd, I sneezed right after you sneezed, just like a yawn, Gomer Pyle. Yeah, Ellen Dowd, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's funny how yawn is kind of contagious. You know, if you yawn, somebody sees you and they'll yawn. Yeah, we do a lot of stuff that goes back millions of years. Uh, the Life and Times of Crazy Patrick, nice driving videos, love to hear you talk. I will make a checklist and put it on my visor just so I do not miss anything again before I move my RV. Yeah, well, you know, the RV parks are filling up, though. I was looking at Oliver Lee State Park, which is, you know, it's just a small little park near Alamogordo, and, you know, not really nothing there. You know, there's no river, no lake, no nothing. But starting in October, full, you know, they're, they're booked up. The snowbirds start coming. But that's okay. The ones they miss are the ones I get. That's all right. And it, it's no big deal. You know, I'm going to do a video about being around or among people, which is a different thing. Karen V222, awesome, stay safe. Okay, Al Fur, thumbs up to you. Ding. Um, MG Car 61, Camaro. The sound of your voice when you get on the road again. It confirms you're happier on the move. The traveling bug, bug is in your blood. That's why you are so on the ball for someone that is 76 years old. Your videos are amazing. Well, they are what they are. You know, they're pretty simple stuff. I mean, and I do them because they're simple stuff. You know, I mean, it gives me something to do. And, um, yeah, Gregory Bowles, been to six state parks in New Mexico the past few months. Every one of them had bugs flying around. $4 head and face net from Walmart was best purchase ever. Yeah, they, they, I'm probably, I need to get one of those, too. Uh, if I go by there here in the next few days, I will. I had one. I, I've got probably two or three of them somewhere. I just can't find them. I don't know where I put them. You know, sometimes I put stuff in bags and then put the bag somewhere. Enough said. Von Jean, uh, do, don't want you to do any editing. Your videos would not be so entertaining. Yeah. Well, you know, you get, you know, we're all real people, you know, we all do real things like sneeze and fart and, you know, and belch and all that stuff. And, you know, for some reason, uh, the movie industry years ago, that was totally edited out. I mean, none of that crap and cuss words and stuff. Of course, I don't do, I, in the beginning, I used to say it, just about anything that went off here. But I, I kind of edit myself up here first a little bit. Tony John, hey, man, you never showed us the elephants, whatever. Yeah, I hear you. I, I've heard that. Uh, Timothy Smith, just keep rolling, Rusty. Okay. Nana Betty G, love your non-drama lifestyle. Always encouraging and never talk bad about your neighbor. You're a good fellow to follow. I guess, you know, uh, you know I'm human. This is Joy 7 This will be the last one. I'd be sneezing with you if I were there. Ragwee is one of my top offenders. Your attitude and disposition probably have the young folks looking forward to old age. Your adventures in life look appealing. Keep up the good work. Congratulations on 53,000 subscribers. Well, you know, that's just a number. What The number that really counts is views, okay? The subscribers is an ego number. Uh, you don't get any money from it. Well, you know, some people will send you things to review because, you, you know, for free because you, I, you, 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 you have that many. But I turn 99% I turn of those down. I don't want all that junk. I don't even know where to put it. You know, and that's why I tell you people to be careful sending me stuff because I don't have any place to put stuff, okay? 
mean, that's it. I mean, I'm full up, guys, as full as I want to be. Anyway, thank you very much, JJoy7. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Carpe diem means seize the day in Latin. Carpe diem. Uh, seize the day. Uh, adios. Uh, oh, excuse me. Carpe. <laughs> thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. <clears throat> Anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you one penny. And if you're going to buy something from Amazon anyway, why not use the link? But anyway, that's your choice. Do what you want to do. I do me, you do you. That's it. Anyway, guys, and then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much as in snack. And uh, yeah, the only way to lose weight, you know it, I know it. And keep it off, eat less. That's it. And then what else? Drink. Oh, take deep breath. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do it several times a day. Why? Because it's good for you. That's why. And uh, what else? Uh, stretch. 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 Swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer because of that one thing. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every single thought you have. So common sense says, Add good ingredients. It's like baking a cake, you know. You can't bake a cake adding cement, you know what I mean? You know, the, you know, don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. Don't watch the news. I say that every day. I know some of you get bored with that. That's all right. But, you know, it, it's just reinforcement, you know. That's how the news media works. They keep, they keep hammering the same sound bite, and pretty soon they drive it right into your brain. Does it work? Hell yeah. It won't work. You know, <clears throat> so enough said about that. So, Stand guard at the door of your mind, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha until the noon video, the back streets of truth or consequences. If that won't be a winner, I don't know what will. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy your day. Adios.